Driving through Europe during a pandemic, it can mean long queues and strict border controls. Romanian MEP Datian Cholos recently filmed these images when he drove from Bucharest to Brussels. The situation is slowly evolving. With new EU guidelines, many countries are seeking to reopen the frontiers. When it comes to opening up the tourism and travel and hospitality areas, we have been very uh, clear in our recommendations that there is no room for discrimination and every measure taken has to be based on our guidelines and has to be non-discriminatory in nature. But not all EU countries will have the same treatment. Three members lie outside the Schengen free travel zone, Croatia, Romania and Bulgaria. The coronavirus crisis gave Schengen members a taste of the harsh reality of traveling from non-Schengen countries, according to one Romanian MEP. What has been happening over the last two months for all EU citizens has been happening for the citizens of Romania, Bulgaria, Croatia, those EU member states that are not yet part of Schengen, has been happening for the last basically 12 years, 13 years, uh, the time that we uh, were part of Schengen. Uh, for them, nothing will change. For those EU citizens that are still held at the doorstep of Schengen, uh, it is now time to, to send them a political message that they uh, have to be treated the same as everyone else. While MEPs and the Commission think Romania, Bulgaria and Croatia are technically ready to join, some member states are not ready to admit them. Joanna Gill, Euronews.